am Serenity Denard. Please help find me. One share could bring me home. I vanished from Rockerville, South Dakota on February 3rd, 2019. Several searches of the area have turned up no signs of me, raising the likelihood I may have been picked up by a passing motorist. I was last seen walking northbound on S. Rockerville Road. Call 605-394-6115 with any info. Hashtag find serenity. Hashtag bring serenity home. Hashtag Black Hills. This is a post that was taken from the Facebook page, Find Serenity Denard, Missing from Rockerville, South Dakota. I know this isn't like my usual episodes. This isn't someone of color, and at least in South Dakota, there was a good amount of coverage on this case. But this case touched me, not only because it's a child, but because I was living in South Dakota during this period, and I remember seeing it all over the news. At the time... I didn't know much about the circumstances of Serenity's disappearance, but I remember thinking, how does a child just walk away from a facility without a trace? It didn't sit right with me then, and it doesn't sit right with me now. February 3rd, 2019 was a typical cold day in the Black Hills. According to weather reports for that day, it was forecast to have a high of 25 degrees and a low of 12. But as some of you South Dakotans know, the reported temperatures aren't always correct. It actually ended up getting all the way down to zero degrees with winds at 24 miles per hour and wind gusts even higher. But if you happen to live near the hills, the temperature was even colder. See, the Black Hills are mountains covered in trees that from a distance look black. And because of the elevation and thinner air, the temperatures can get a lot colder than if you were on lower ground. Honestly, it can be quite beautiful, but it can also look ominous and foreboding, especially when you're driving at night on a long winding road with no other cars in sight. The Black Hills were once a sacred hunting ground for the Western Sioux Native Americans and other tribes who were native to the area. The hills are believed to be extremely haunted, which if you knew the history of how the natives were forced out, I can see there being some truth to that but that's a whole episode within itself. All that aside, I can't imagine anyone getting lost in those woods. And if they did, I don't see a scenario where they would make it out alive. Rihanna Root and Devin Green met when Devin and Rihanna's younger brother became friends. There wasn't much of a relationship between Rihanna and Devin at first, but the two quickly became friends themselves. Their friendship lasted for about eight years before they decided to take it to the next level. And on May 12th, 2009, the two welcomed Serenity June Denard to the world. She was an 18 inch long, seven pound, 5.8 ounce cutie with blonde hair and blue eyes. Very early on, Serenity's life quickly turned upside down. At just six months old, Rihanna went to prison for the first time since Serenity had been born. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be the last. Before Serenity was born, Rihanna had given birth to three other children who were later taken by DSS. The reason for their removal is unknown, but I can only speculate that it may have been due to the fact that she was in and out of jail. That's why having Serenity was special. She was supposed to be Rihanna's chance to start fresh and get her life back on track. Sadly, Things didn't turn out as she had hoped. After Rihanna's incarceration, Serenity was left in the care of her young father, Devin, who was 19 or 20 years old at the time. I imagine that all kinds of anxiety and fear was running through him at the thought of having to raise a child, his first child, alone. Fortunately, he wasn't alone. The phrase, it takes a village, Definitely applies here because with the help of his mom, Rihanna's parents, along with his dad and his dad's girlfriend, Devin had his village. They each took turns taking care of Serenity and supporting her in every way they could. Meanwhile, Rihanna was behind bars with what was supposed to be a nine-month sentence. Somehow, it ended up being much longer than they all anticipated. <music> It's unclear when Rihanna was released from jail, but in 2012, 
Devin himself was arrested and indicted on charges of grand theft of receiving stolen property. He was found guilty and was given five years with five years suspended, which he ultimately ended up serving only 90 days for. Serenity, only a toddler of two or three years of age, had yet another major shift in her life and was placed in the care of Devin's mother. According to Rihanna, who was still locked up and most likely doesn't have firsthand knowledge of this, during Serenity's time with Devin's mom, something transpired that caused Serenity to be taken away. What exactly happened? Well, Rihanna doesn't elaborate. Whatever the case, Serenity was taken by the Department of Social Services. Devin's account adds a little more to the story. Devin, who was weeks away from being released, called his mom on Christmas Day to check on her and his baby girl. While on the phone, he hears a lot of commotion and in a panic asks, what's going on? To his horror and shock, a DSS worker was there to take Serenity. He asked his mother why, but she had no answers. So he demanded that the worker get on the phone and speak with him, which she does. However, that conversation proved pointless as he was never given an explanation despite asking multiple times. And eventually, he was hung up on. With no choice but to let it go, he did. And once he completed his sentence, he began to seek answers and try to find a way to get his daughter back in his care. Let's pause for a moment, shall we? In the middle of last year, my mother received a letter in the mail seeking relatives of two young children who were placed in foster care. Later on, my mom was informed that the children belonged to one of my first cousins, making her their great aunt. CPS was looking to possibly do a kinship adoption, and that's why my mom, along with other family members, were contacted. My reason for bringing this up is because I'm wondering if there was any kind of effort to ensure that Serenity remained with a relative, and if not, why? From what I gather, there were members on both sides of her family that would have taken her, and yet she was placed in foster care. It doesn't quite add up to me. I mean, what do you guys think? Anyway, once out, Devin did all that he could to try and regain custody of Serenity. He began parenting classes, and even Rihanna, though in prison, began parenting classes as well. These parents were making every effort to get their child back, and it seemed to be working because Devin was granted supervised visits one hour a week. Though not what he nor Serenity wanted, it was more than nothing. He was sure that he was on the right track, but life had other plans. Devin was unable to secure stable housing. I mean, he had places to go and people who would have allowed him to live with them, but DSS wanted him to do everything on his own. From his account, they didn't want him to ask for help from anyone. Odd, but what could he really do? As far as the parenting classes went, he was still doing them, but any little thing that he did during the class that wasn't considered right was used against him at every follow-up assessment. It's almost as if they wanted perfection, when, of course, that's unobtainable. Frankly, he was in a lose-lose situation. And Rihanna, well, she had already lost her parental rights due to the length of time she was serving in prison. But when she was released, she also began doing what she could to establish them again. Sadly, all of their efforts proved futile because ultimately, at the hearing, DSS recommended that Serenity be put up for adoption. What happens next saddens me. The parents of this toddler were only given 10 minutes apiece to say their goodbyes. They couldn't even do it together. What's worse, they were given cue cards with words to say that they couldn't deviate from. For example, it's okay to love someone else and don't worry about me. Those were just a couple, but this stood out to me. I mean, is this normal? It seems rather cruel. In any case, as soon as those 10 minutes were over, a screaming and terrified serenity was hauled away and Devin and Rihanna never had another chance to see her again. From 2012 to 2014, Serenity had been in 12 different foster homes. The inner turmoil that must have been running through this child is unimaginable. And at some point, she was diagnosed with reactive attachment disorder and disruptive mood dysregulation disorder. 
Reactive Attachment Disorder, or RAD, is when a child doesn't exhibit emotional bonds with their parents or parental figures, which could be contributed to emotional neglect or abuse at an early age. According to an article from clevelandclinic.org, children are more likely to develop RAD if they have many different parent figures, like multiple foster care situations, or taken away from their primary caretakers after bonding with them emotionally, experiences several traumatic losses early in life, have parental figures who didn't try to become emotionally close to them, or spent time in an institution like an orphanage where they didn't have a loving parent figure. Disruptive mood dysregulation disorder is a condition that causes persistent irritability anger, and frequent episodes of intense temper outbursts. To date, there is no known cause for DMDD, essentially making this something Serenity could have been born with or it simply could have been a product of her environment. I'm a little fuzzy on the timeline, but Serenity may have been diagnosed with these things before she was ever put up for adoption. And if she was, they had to know that placing her in the care of strangers would do more harm than good. This is just another reason why I don't understand why she wasn't placed with other family members. I've watched videos of Serenity's parents discussing their time with her. And although they certainly had their faults and made many mistakes, I don't believe they were abusive or emotionally neglectful, at least not intentionally. Once again, maybe removing Serenity from the family who loved her and placing her with multiple strangers wasn't the best thing for her and may have caused irreparable damage. After multiple displacements and relocations, Serenity was finally adopted in October of 2014 to couple Chad and Darcy Denard after having lived with them for a few months prior. Finally, Serenity was in a loving and stable home with two parents and siblings. But was she? Just a few months after being adopted by the Denards, Chad and Darcy divorced, and later that same year, Chad moved in with his now wife, Cassandra. Chad would remain primary custodial parent of Serenity, while Darcy would become the secondary custodial parent. At this point, all I can offer is speculation, but the constant changes that occurred in Serenity's life during this time couldn't have been helpful to her disorders, and her subsequent behavior would prove my assumptions to be correct. Sometime after yet another upheaval, Serenity began running away and threatening self-harm. Her condition had supposedly gotten so bad that no amount of outpatient therapy would help the young adolescent. And in September of 2018, almost four years after her placement with the Denars, she was sent to the Black Hills Children's Society. Black Hills Children's Society is a social services organization that was established in 1893, making it South Dakota's oldest nonprofit organization that specializes in human services. Initially, it served as an orphanage, but over the years, it transformed into a facility that not only fosters children, but assists domestic and sexual abuse victims, provides therapeutic and residential treatment, provides day school programs that specialize in treating a multitude of behavioral issues and disorders, offers assistance to first-time moms by doing home visits where trained nurses share information about nutrition, prenatal care, home safety, and much more. All in all, this sounds like the perfect place for a child of Serenity's behavioral issues. So what happened? <music> Okay, y'all, this is where I'm going to leave y'all. I didn't think the episode would turn out to be this long, but it did. So I'm going to come back with part two in a day or so. Hope you have enjoyed listening so far. Until next time, this is hashtag I am. Be blessed and stay safe. Mm -hmm.